All right. What's up guys, Vic Vengeance here. Welcome back to another vlog and yes, yes, it is my birthday. Woo! One year older, one year wiser, 31 years old today. This vlog, the title says it all, birthday vlog. I wanted to do a little unboxing video, another one. So I kinda did a little treat to myself, a little gift to myself, and I wanna show you guys what I bought. So here in this nice little box <laughs> i have the gift i got to myself and i want to show you guys what i got i'm super excited it's not the newest thing out but it's still an upgrade to me so let's do it got my handy dandy knife mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very nice huh love this knife super sharp and like i said before if you saw my other vlog stay tuned i will be doing my knife collection vlog i want to share, share with you guys a little a little hobby that i picked up while in this quarantine or whatever but let's open up this box. Super excited to show you guys. Very nice. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. Gotta be safe. Ah! Dang. So, before I show you guys what it is, I've been wanting this thing, item, uh, since it came out. You know, it was a uh, kind of like a revolutionary thing that's out and everybody's like, damn, I think dope, you know? And super excited to try it out. But at the time, it was brand new. When anything's brand new, super expensive. So I couldn't afford it at the time. And my finances weren't in order. So, so it's a little bit on the older side, not super old, but it's not the newest thing out because there is, there is something else that came out that's new, er, which is what I truly want. But thinking about it, trying to get out of all my credit card debt, Buying the nearest one wasn't the best thing to do financially, so I decided to go with this instead and still be able to continue with my goal of paying off all my credit card debt and still get something that I've been wanting for a few minute. So enough talking, let's get to it. First thing, tissue paper. Just packing paper. <laughs> all right, enough messing around, let's do it. Ooh, ooh, thing is. Is nicely packed. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Any guesses what it might be? Nothing else. Empty box. Just packing paper. So here is the meat of the sandwich. We'll open it. It's used but it's new to me. So. Ooh. It packed nicely. Look at that. What we're wrapping everything. Very nice. Any ideas yet what it might be? Huh? Super excited. Ooh, okay. First thing coming out of here is, it's a charger. Check it. So if you guess a camera, you are correct. And, and if you're that good, and you truly know me, and you guess the Canon EOS R, check it out. Then you guess right. You truly do know me. Man, this thing is super nice. Mm. Wow. A quick little reason as to why I got this camera and not the R6. I just went for the R. Well, like I said, the new Canon R6, I mean, I'm still gonna get it, but once my finances are much more in order. Uh, the R6, brand new, body only, it's about 2500 bucks, something like that, around there. And if you want the RF lens that comes with it, the kit lens, you're looking at 2799 plus tax and everything, you're looking at about three grand, if not close to three grand. Well, I'm not really looking to spend that much money on the camera right now. So, what's the next best thing? The US R. So, the R6 is an update from this one, the R. It's a full frame camera. This one's 30 megapixels. Uh, it shoots in C-Log, which if you guys seen one of my other previous vlogs, I've been wanting to shoot in C-Log. I've never shot in C-Log, uh, but I know 
it gives you a better dynamic range and you can you can like it's like shooting raw you know you take photos you shoot raw you have much more freedom to edit so same thing when you're filming is C log is filming in raw and when you edit you color grade and everything you just have a better dynamic range and you have much more freedom and you're able to regain some information if you lost it while you're recording uh, it also does shoot in 4k so i did but have to buy another memory card that supports 4k but what i did not know until recently is that if i shoot 4k with the eos r it crops in so i mean like with the canon add that i'm shooting with right now it's a crop sensor so so that's that's already cropped in it's not a full frame so if i shoot 4k it's going to be about the same the same image you're getting right now uh with the eos r in 4k which maybe i will shoot 4k maybe i won't i don't know how bad that that cropping might be uh but i will be using a wide angle lens so maybe it won't be too bad but we'll see but mainly why as to why i got this one is because it's full frame and it shoots in c log it's still it shoots in 120 frames per second which is why i want the r6 uh, this one shoots in 120 frames per second, but it's only 720p. So, if you're shooting 720p, why are we friends? <laughs> I'm kidding. But for real, it's not the best quality. But it shoots 60 frames per second in Full HD, which is what I have here, and, and it's great. But I do want to shoot at 120 frames per second in Full HD. So, on the RS6, I can do that. Also, the autofocus is a lot better on this one than it is on the ADD. This one, I believe, it has and body image stabilization. But I heard it's not that great on the AOS R. They improved it on the R6 and the R5. So maybe I won't be using this too much. Plus my lens, the ones I have, well the, the wide angle lens that I plan on using on this one has, has uh, image stabilization. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But yeah, I mean, here's a little gift to myself. Super excited to try it out. Gonna learn how to shoot and edit with C-Log. And I look forward to using it. I was going to do like a little side-by-side -side comparison, but I don't have a tripod to hold this. But but yeah, well maybe let me set it up, you know, and, I, and I'll show you guys the differences between the ADD and the EOS R. The ADD is an old camera, came out I think in 2016, maybe before that. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But from crop sensor ADD to a full frame uh, EOS R. To me, that's a big upgrade. So I'm just kind of dipping my toes in the in the R line, and it has a new RF mount. So I look forward to using those lenses. In the meantime, I'll use the adapter to continue using my EF lenses. But happy birthday to me! Bought myself a little gift, a little treat to myself, and I can't wait to start using it. So let me see if I can do a little comparison view right now. Okay, so I wasn't gonna do like a little comparison view or whatever but um, I figured why not so this is the first time turning on the EOS R I have the 1635 2.8 on the R and I have the kit lens on the ADD so you can see on the R it's a lot wider you know the full frame is going to give you that much wider effect uh, capture more of the image uh, crop sensor is like all over my face you know but what do you guys think? You guys see a difference? Hmm? More detail, uh, clearer, sharper. What do you guys think? So this is on the on the R. Hmm? Can you see the hair? The detail on my face. What about the ADD? Can I get like much closer? Hmm? Is that? Does that look good? I'm like I'll open your business. <laughs> But I mean, R, ADD, R, ADD, R, R, ADD. Big difference, major upgrade. Did I fuck up? I don't know. But I'm excited to use it anyway. I feel like um, the full frame it just it just goes much more further than a crop sensor, you know. Um, but I mean, based off of what I can see. The R looks pretty good. I haven't done any 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 customization to the to the image quality except the frame rate and you know the usual ISO aperture and all that. But like 
customizing the picture profile. This is not even log, this is the neutral uh, profile, you know? How was that? Um, but it looks pretty cool, I think, you know? It looks, it looks really nice, actually. I like it. The ADD looks good, too, don't get me wrong, it looks really badass. Uh, but that crop, I don't like it. And this one's down to 16 millimeters, and that one only goes down to 18 millimeters. But they're right next to each other, right side by side. I feel like this is a fair comparison view. The plan, the goal is to improve. It's always to improve. So I'm super excited to use it. Let me know what you guys think. Does it look different? Did I fuck up? It's cool, whatever. Doesn't matter. I bought it. There's no turning back. I look forward to using it. I'm super excited, can you tell? <laughs> so again, happy birthday to me. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And until next time. Until next time, hopefully the next vlog is shot on the USR. So I'm super excited for that to happen. Sorry for the wobble. I have to, you know, whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Later guys.